Editing nature photos does not have to be difficult at all. Today we're going to take this sort of cool foggy forest situation and turn it into a much better version of itself using Lumina Neo. Let's jump right in. Now first off, I took this picture in HDR style, which means I took multiple exposures. One where you can see the shadows very well, one neutrally exposed one, and one where you can see the bright parts very well. Now later I realized I don't actually need the bright one, so we're going to work with the underexposed one as well as the, well, normal exposure. So what we want to do in Lumina Neo is first to create an HDR version. So I'm going to select them both and drag them over to HDR Merge. Then we're going to open the additional settings and make sure we click Auto Alignment. I did have a tripod, but you know, just to make sure. Once we are done, we're simply going to hit Merge. And there we go. Here's our HDR version and the baseline of our work. As usual, when I edit, I want to balance out the picture a little bit. So we're going to go over to Edit, hit the Develop module, and I'll start by increasing the highlights to maybe around that. Bring down the shadows. Then we're going to open up the black and whites and bring down the blacks a little bit, maybe to something like this. And we're also going to basically take out the whites, maybe to something like this. So you still have a sense of fog in the background, but we have a bit more of a balanced photo and a perfect baseline. Next, let's start working on that green. So I, I do like a good forest picture or plants in general, but the problem is I do like my greens more on the blue side of things. And these ones are really just in the green side of things. So let's open up a color adjustment, go down to hue and head to the greens right here. So if I drag that to the right, you'll see that the greens will take on a, well, a much more bluish tone than it had before. But it's still very green, but I can't use the slider any more than I already have. So let's close that down again. Close the color adjustment and open another one. And now I can repeat that step basically. So I can now use that green slider and bring it over to the right. Okay, this doesn't look bad. Now, of course, now the color is far too intense, right? And it still looks very green. But if we now switch from hue over to saturation and we bring down the green saturation, you can see now we have still the greens, but they are more on the blue end of green. And you can see that if we're looking at the before and the after, right? So here we have this sort of kind of weird yellowish green and here we have this dark, nice bluish tinted green, which I love. Cool. So what I want to do is in the center of the photo, we have this kind of foggy, you know, area with the trees and everything. But right now the definition is quite high. The detail is quite high. And I want to change that because I want to have it moody, right? So let's close up that color thingy and head to structure. And what I want to do is I want to take any and all structure out of the photo and just look between the trees as to what that does. If we switch, uh, switch that off and on, basically we make it more soft and that's exactly what I want for the situation. But I don't want this softness everywhere in the foreground because I do like the detail in the plants. What we're going to do is simply going to hit masking and we're going to use a brush and we're going to paint the effect in. So let's get a nice large brush, something like that, and start to paint that softness into our forest in the background right here. Okay, this area should approximately do it. Now have a look at this before and after. Let's zoom in a little bit. The before, very, very detailed, and the after, much, much softer. To make it even more soft, let's close down our structure adjustment and go down to mystical. Here we're going to add more softness by simply using that particular slider. So let's bring that up to maybe, maybe around this. And that's just a subtle difference, but it just adds a touch of softness. So this looks good, but the problem is the foreground here is still very bright and I want the attention, the eye of the viewer to go into the image and not stop at the bottom of it, right? So we're going to make the foreground a bit darker. Let's open a develop module and let's bring down, and I'm just looking at the foreground right now, bring down our general exposure a lot. Maybe something like this. I'm also going to take down the highlights a lot. Maybe something like this. And the general whites also a lot. Maybe do something like this. And now we're going to use the same technique. We're going to use masking, get ourselves a brush. I'm going to reduce the strength a good bit and just get a nice big brush to paint that effect into our photo. Just a little bit. So we did the effect very strong, so I can just pat that in ever so slightly. There we go. Check this out. Now we don't have that much attention on the foreground anymore and more is on the background automatically. Let's enhance that effect further by opening a vignette. So we're just going to darken the outline of the photo and enhancing the light in the center of it. So let's drag that slider towards the left and maybe stop at something like, maybe something like this. We're going to give it a nice feather. So we have a nice transition between the darker outline and the bright center. And let's pump up our inner light a good bit to approximately here. And this does a lot to a photo always. We are nearly there. We just have to adjust the colors a little bit. 
So we're going to go all the way down to color harmony and we'll start by changing the highlights just a little bit. So let's change the highlights a bit to the left hand side to approximately, I don't know, around 15. Leave the magenta and greens where they are and push the yellow blues a little bit towards the blue side. This is going to take that overall color cast if you want that yellowish feel to the photo away and going to push it more towards the blues. However, I still want to have a nice touch of color in there. I mean, we have the green, which is now kind of green blue, which is cool, but there is a lot of red in this forest right here, right? These dead leaves from a forest fire. And I really want to bring out that red as a complementary color to the green. So let's do that. For that, we're going to close down our color harmony thingy and we're going to go all the way up and back to color. And here we simply have to go to the saturation section, take that red slider and pump it up like crazy. We can also take the orange slider and follow a bit as well as the yellow slider, everything that is that kind of color range that I want to have in the center of the photo. And we can see that does give us quite a bit of red in the center area right here, but we can simply double it, right? So let's open another one, color, go to the red and crank that up even more. Now we are really seeing the red coming out in the center, but it's a bit strong in other areas. So let's go to masking, brush, erase, and make sure we erase that effect from areas like the foreground or like this little blip right here, and maybe also in a limited capacity in the back right here. And now we have this beautiful red only in the center. And there we go. Within a couple of minutes, we went from a, well, a very detailed, sharp, weirdly looking foggy image to an actually cool moody version of itself, which you can actually print and put on your wall. Also remember, if you do like what you see and you want to get Lumina Neo for yourself, there's a link in the description, of course, if you use the checkout code Let's Image, you're gonna save, I think, 10% or something like that on your purchase. God, I love that software. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed this little edit for today. I'm gonna go back to editing, maybe this time with Photoshop. Let's see. Other than that, stay safe and I shall see you next time.